Join me and my co-hosts every Saturday at 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. Pacific for cartoons and movies at the 50th Street Studio Twitch channel. See you there. Greetings, everybody. This is Keith at uh, 30 Second Sci-Fi here at the fabulous 50th Street Studio. This week, I'm going to tell you about Herland, a 1915 novel written uh, by Charlotte Perkins Gilman, published uh, as a serial in a magazine, just like every other novel was back at that time. But in this case, the magazine was written and published by Gilman herself. She was very enterprising. It sounds like the kind of thing I would do, having trouble finding a place to publish uh, my own book, so make my own magazine. <laughs> it is another lost utopia book, um, and obviously a utopia inhabited only by women. Uh, the unusual, the really unusual thing in this case being that the women reproduce by parthenogenesis, by uh, natural cloning. Usually with these Amazonian uh, societies, the women raid uh, the outside world periodically for men to reproduce with, but not in this case. I found the book engaging all the way through. It's about three men in a biplane who discover this lost plateau with this uh, society of all women uh, on it. Being... Um, Women who reproduce by natural cloning, uh, they are very focused on motherhood and on very focused on their children, wh who are all women as well. And they, they very carefully trace their lineages back to thousands of years when this all started. There's, there's a whole complex story about how the men of their society um, died out after most were killed uh, in a volcano explosion or something like that. Um, and one of the women experienced a natural uh, mutation. It, it, it's that simple. But these three men find themselves uh, not so much taken prisoner. Well, yes, they are taken prisoner, but they're also uh, studied. These women are very serious about education. They're very curious about the outside world and about outside uh, Western traditions and everything. They, uh, over the course of years, as they keep these men uh, under close watch, they learn to speak English. They, they, they learn as much as they can about uh, uh, British uh, society, and they want to experience uh, British or English Western world uh, traditions. So these, these three men find themselves going through marriage ceremonies with three young women, and um, of course, these women don't understand what they're getting into because these men each have very different ideas about women and their roles in society and or what their roles should be, especially in relation to men. Uh, this one guy in particular is sadly mistaken when he thinks he can have his way with this new wife of his. It's very well thought out, very uh, well written and entertaining. There was a, a follow-up book about... Uh, two of the couples returning to the Western world because this one guy in particular, whom I've referenced before, he ends up being exiled from her land because he's, he's just too dangerous. He's not, he's not getting it. He's not getting the fact that he is in a different world where he is not going to be allowed to be Lord God King. Uh, and when he's ed exiled, his young wife is going with him and one of the other guys says, no, my wife and I have to accompany them because we're not going to let this poor girl get taken into the Western world by this guy. Um, it, it's a book that I, it sounds like I need to read uh, because I did enjoy uh, this particular one. There, it's, it's gotten some criticisms for racism and eugenics, which are the things that you would expect, uh, especially from a book written uh, at that time. But uh, it's another one of these Gulliver's Travels, um, social satire, utop lost utopia books that I've read and recommend. Thank you for watching. Please come back next week for more science fiction. 
and please become a sponsor. Follow the links on screen and in the description below to help me make more of these videos. And please leave a comment. Let me know what you think.